up everybody welcome to the first episode in a series i've decided to make uh, building a mobile application using chat gpt and flutter the idea is to make a simple mobile application to use as a life counter in a turn-based game for those of you who don't know chat gpt is a chat bot from OpenAI that is utilizing ai trained across the whole internet and flutter is a framework for developing mobile applications using the dart programming language personally have very little experience programming, particularly for mobile applications. So I'm going to be using ChatGPT to help teach me what I need to know to make this application work in Flutter. In this episode, I'll go over an outline for our project, we'll install Flutter, and we'll get started with the Flutter demo application. And at the end, we'll do a lessons learned from this episode and lay out the next steps for episode two. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start with an outline, basic outline of what we want the app to do. So this is a basic functionality. Uh, we want to start with a game setup. So we're gonna select the number of our players, starting life count, and our select our dice, then the number of sides we want on our dice. Um, so here I have a default idea as well, maybe a Default uh, number of players is two, default life is 20, and we'll just say we're gonna use a default uh, six-sided die. Um, so we could just use default game setup to do like a quick start to our game, um, or we can let the players uh, customize this. I think maybe also we wanna add in uh, maybe a player name function where we can name each player in the game. Um, or customize the name of the players in the game. Um, and maybe select like a, a color, a background color for their their player um, cell. But we can think about that more later. We'll start with just the real basics here. Um, and then we have, after the setup, we'll have the in-game operations. So we will want to display the player's life count on the screen. Um, we'll have some add and subtract functionality on the life uh, life counter and want to be able to select a random starting turn so like when we hit game start it'll randomly select which player gets to go first um, kind of like flipping a coin or if there are multiple players like rolling a die for um, however many numbers number of players are there um, so we'll probably use the count of the players here um, to, to create that random number uh, generation. Uh, then we want some functionality with the die itself. When we have a selected die, we want to be able to just like tap on it to to um, pull up a menu if we want to adapt it, and maybe like double tap it to roll it, or maybe the other way around. Maybe we'll tap to roll it, and we'll double tap to open up the menu if we want to change from a six sided to a eight sided or twenty sided die, something like that. Um, and then the other functionality that um, kind of is a highlight, I think, of what we're trying to build here is the ability to maybe shake the phone to roll the die. So we'll just be able to pick it up, shake the device, and have the dice roll. Whatever die is uh, currently selected would get rolled. Then we want a restart button um, or a reset button to like start a new game uh, with without like changing the settings. And um, Speaking of settings, we want a settings menu as well, like a little gear icon, something like that, that we can click on and have um, the settings for the life count, the die, the number of players pop up so we can modify that um, maybe in game or maybe it restarts a new game after that. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then we want to adjust the menu to uh, change the life, the die and the number of players for the current game. So I guess I already said that. But so that's the basic um, layout of functionality. And then we can um, have a look at a quick diagram of sort of the actual, what we wanna see in our layout. Um, I set this up for maybe six players to start. So I think we can, I wanna build an app that has the scalability from two player up to, in this case, let's say six players. Um, if we wanted to do eight, we could add additional cells in here. Um, but I think 
to start, we'll just do, we'll, we'll try six. And if it's not working well, we'll scale it back to two. Um, but essentially in the, in the background grid, we'd want player slots, um, that could house the player cells. Um, so a player cell would look like this. It, I put this indicating border around, uh, around here. I think it makes sense to highlight the player whose turn it is most likely. Um, there may be some additional things we add in here um, as moving forward we'll have like a plus and a minus um, indicator here where you could tap on the plus tap on the minus in the cell to add or subtract from the life count um, and then in a more than two player game so in in a two player game we'd have one player here and one player here in these two slots and we'd have the die displayed in the middle um, we may want to add the ability to have like counters in each player's slots or in each player's cell. Um, but once you go past two players, if you have like three players, you might want to be able to drag and drop the players into the slots that best align with where they're sitting uh, around the game. Um, so making these sort of dynamic cells slots where we can, we can drop each player where they uh, should sit, uh, I think makes sense as well. So sort of emulating a game table um, on the screen. All right. So without any experience with Flutter, um, let's dive in and see if we can get ChatGPT to help us get started here. So we'll go to ChatGPT if you haven't done that already. Um, I can put up a link to some of the starter videos that other people have made. I'm not going to bother making a starter video with getting logged into ChatGPT. Um, but essentially, once you're logged in, you'll get a screen that looks like this, and you can start asking questions. Um, without having any experience with Flutter, I think um, this will be really interesting, finding out if what we want to do is possible, um, and sort of figuring out how to ask really pointed questions that get us the answers that we want. So we'll start with, we'll ask it if, can, can I make a mobile app with Flutter? It says, yes, we can for both Android and iOS, which is cool. Um, it's an open source mobile application development framework created by Google. Pretty cool. Um, let me see. Uh, let's ask it how to get started. Okay, so it says to get started, we gotta go to flutter.com. See what happens if we go to flutter.com. This is not what we want. Nope. Let's try this. Let's just Google Flutter. All right. Looks like we want it flutter.dev. So I didn't even bother looking at what flutter.com is. It asked for consent and I did not want to give it. So let's take a look at Flutter. Follow the instructions to install Flutter on our machine. Let's run Flutter Doctor. All right, let's open this in a new tab. See what it's talking about. Let's finish. All right. So it tells us to go to plugins. Finally, we're ready. Let's go to the marketplace, as it said, and see if we can find Dart. We need Dart. We need Flutter.
We did it. Many attempts. All right, so the code for our app is in main library main.dart. Now that we've got this working, we need to see if we can get ChatGPT to help us build this thing. So, Flutter demo homepage. Where does it say that? All right. Theme data. Our homepage name. We're gonna change this right away. Well, let's let's check with ChatGPT. Title. My homepage name. Okay. So here. See what happens. Hey, all right, cool. Um. All right, so in this episode, we were able to get Flutter and Android Studio installed. We were able to create our first Flutter project, spin up the emulator in Android Studio, and get ChatGPT to teach us how to create and arrange shapes in a grid in Dart. So next episode, we'll learn how to make our game grid adaptable and start adding in our player and dice overlays into our app. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.